Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to work with the old hamstick dipole. And uh, I've made some modifications to how they originally send it to you, or how you buy it. And uh, we're going to go through some of the modifications I made. And then we're going to take it pedestrian mobile. We're going to do some walkabout with the uh, hamstick dipole and see what we can make some contacts. We're going to be a little wide load. We're going to be wide with them uh, old antennas sticking out to the side, but uh, I think we'll be all right. So we got plenty of area around here and I don't have any high wires or anything like that to bump into or tree limbs. So I think we'll be okay. So let's get going and I'll show you what we did. Down in the cornfields where the wind blows free, got my hamstick dipole. Just my radio beam. Low power signals, it's the game we play. Pedestrian mobile, we're chasing the day. Making contacts, hear that sweet sound. This damn radio life, yeah, it's where I'm found. So let me start off by saying this configuration does work. I have made contacts with this dipole mount in this configuration, original configuration. I just can't wrap my head around how efficient it is. So what I did to modify it was I added a one-to-one -one ballon up here to connect my coax to. And I removed the metal bar. I removed that metal bar and separated the two um, mounts where you mount the uh, hamsticks to. And as you can see, the top of the one-to-one -one ballon comes, one wire comes over here and isolated to the uh, hamstick mount there. And the other one goes over here and is totally isolated to that hamstick there. So to me, that's the true fashion of a ballon and a, a dipole. Um, that configuration. So I'm hoping this will be a little more efficient and it psychologically makes me feel like I'm radiating now out of both uh, both hamsticks on both sides and we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna actually take it pedestrian mobile. I'm gonna put it on a 10-foot PVC pole. This is my mount that goes right down inside the pole and we're going to do some walkabout pedestrian mobile and see how well it works, if at all. So let's get going. Okay, so I've got this 10-foot stick of PVC. It's, uh, I don't know what it is, inch and a quarter. And then I've got my uh, hamstick mount here. I've just got it, you know, mounted like a mirror mount situation on this smaller piece of PVC. And I've got a little hose clamp here tightened down. And all I do is just stick this in here, and the hose clamp helps it from uh, sliding down too far. It catches um, right here, so it won't go down any lower. And so it just slides in and out of there, and it's just easy to pull in and out um, of the 10-foot uh, the section here. So I'll probably I'll tape this up to keep it from spinning, and we'll put the ham sticks on. Okay, well, here we have it all connected. I got the... Uh, the ham sticks connected uh, to each of the mounting spots there and I've got the coax coming up. I've got it taped so it doesn't spin here. It's kind of hokey. Uh, it, it's, we'll see how that works out. And the coax coming down and I got 25 foot of coax so I got plenty. I just wrapped up the coil here and so then I'll be out here and walk about, I have this connected, this end of the coax connected to the radio. So I think we'll be good to go. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's look at the SWR on this thing first before we go too far. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at an SWR sweep on the 20 meters here. And looks like it's about a uh, 1.9 right there. And it's on the... Uh, the upper side of the band, the single side band, so the dip's right where we want it to be. All right, we'll go with that, let's go. So here's just a quick show of uh, how I'm gonna carry it. 
Kind of like the, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend and the color guard in the parades always carry their flags. They have a little holster here. So I jerry-rigged up a, a belt and an old metal Folgers can and a carabiner and I got it hooked in there and voila, there we go. We are walking and carrying our thing. I got my hands free to hold the radio and we are ready to roll. Doom, 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 parade. Okay, so we're using the uh, the uh, Zygu X6100 radio. We're gonna be using the PTT button, uh, internal mic, which I'm not real jazzed about because uh, the internal mic's a little muffled uh, on the audio, but you know, it is what it is. It's not as good as the hand mic in my opinion. So we got the coax connected up above, up to the dipole and True to form, we're going to call uh, and see if we can hear our audio on the Vermont SDR. So let's do that next. Okay, we've got the uh, YL system in New Jersey looking for check-ins. So we're going to give them a try. We're broadside New Jersey right now. Let's see. I think it's Dan. Make that uh, my brother in blue. Thanks for your service there. And that's Mike uh, 18864. Have a great holiday weekend and remember the troops. All right, we'll clear. With Mike, are there any other check-ins to the YL system? Come now. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima, Bravo. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima, Bravo. Roger, Roger. Kevin in Iowa. We're pedestrian mobile today. Uh, QRP 5 watts with a hamstick dipole. Over. Roger, Roger, Kevin. Uh, QRP is 5 watts mobile. You're 5.9 in the Garden State. That's awesome. Uh, I got my dipole broadside to you and I appreciate the 5.9 signal report. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, it was well deserved, Kevin. Beautiful signal for that uh, mobile. Uh, and thank you for checking in. Any calls or traffic with that good signal? I gotta admit the can thing works pretty good because I can rotate in the can and beam towards my, my broadside. So I can beam north and I can just spin it right inside the can and beam east and west or north-south. I got a rotating uh, Antenna pedestrian mobile. Okay, this POTA station is in Arizona. I've got the beam rotated to the southwest. Let's see if we can work him. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Cornfields under the sun Got radio cracking, making contact Funny fun to the ham stick Depot, I'm shining bright Eating hot dog for supper, it feels So right, Destry and mobile Rolling on down, got my Low power set, it's a ham radio Down, outdoors adventure With each call I find, sharing Stories with pals, all the joy that's Kind, feels like corn Goes tall and free A simple life, just my radio and me in the cornfields under the sun, got radio cracking, making contact, running fun with the ham stick depot. I'm shining bright, eating hot dogs for supper. It feels so right. Swing through Iowa, the airwaves sing with waves of laughter, all the joy they bring. In the heartland, we gather around the fire, swap our tales with my buddies. It's the life we desire. Signals are clear, I can reach out far. Every little chat, I feel like a star. In the cornfields under the sun, got radio cracking, making contact, trying to fun with a ham stick. People on shining bright. Kilo zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Kilo zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Thank you, you're 5959, five, over. Roger, on uh, that, I appreciate the call, Kevin, 73. 73. Take care, I'm Sierra 512, Mark 
<laughs> Believe it or not, I got Giannis on the pedestrian mobile dipole. <laughs> I hope this thing was recording. QSL, thanks for the 5.7. You're 5.9. I am be beaming towards you with my hamstick dipole. Over. Signal down here. Give me some audio, Kevin. Roger, Roger. This is Kilo Zero. Kilo Zero Bravo with the best in the mobile with a hamstick dipole up about 12, 15 feet in the air. And I am broadside facing South Carolina from Iowa right now. Two RPs. Okay, record this for me too. I want to get a I want to get a recording when I turn the beam away from you, and uh, you're on the ends of my dipole. What the if it changes any over? Okay, Roger, Roger. This is KZ, KLB. I am broadside of my dipole, empty dipole facing southeast. I'm going to count down three, two, one, and I'm going to count down. And as I'm counting down, I'm going to turn, rotate my dipole uh, tip towards southeast. Three. Yeah, you went from a 5.7 to a 5.3. Over. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Anyway, Kevin, I'm happy to get you. Thanks, Steve, for the heads up. Uh, Kevin, that was uh, that's a good one there. Kevin, uh, you, you walk careful there, man. Don't trip on any uh, corn stalks. <laughs> zero, zero, Kilo Lima, Bravo, five watch uh, pedestrian from Whiskey Alpha 7, Romeo Alpha, Romeo 7, please, buddy. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I can't remember a day where that hamstick has performed as well as it did today. And maybe, you know, we had perfect propagation uh, conditions today. Who knows? But I kind of got to believe that adding that ballon up there at the feed point uh, maybe gave me some gain, a little bit more gain. And uh, I was receiving well, too. And oh my gosh, Slovenia, John is. Uh, thanks for pulling me out, man. I can't believe that he heard me with a 5 7 signal report. I was beaming to the northeast, which takes me up over uh, Iceland and back down to, <laughs> down to Europe. So I was pointing right at you, and that was a lot of fun. I can't, it's just, that was a thrill. And uh, uh, all the other contacts were awesome. Uh, just thanks everybody, and Steve, for your video help there, and uh, video and my audio. Uh, that's just, uh, that's, that's key, to hear my audio when I'm turning it, to see what the difference is, broadside or off the tips. That's a lot of fun. And Chris, thanks for pulling me out in Oregon. I appreciate that. So uh, that's all I got. And uh, had a great time. Had a lot of fun. Appreciate everybody stopping by and watching the video. And until next time, we'll say 7-3. And good day, everybody. Out here in the fields, talking to you. With my hamstick double, I'm looking for you. Corn swaying in the breeze, sun sinking low. Hot dogs on the grill, ready for a show.